We're so proud to be here in Manchester today. Are you proud to be here? Yeah. And we're here. We're here to tell the Labour Party we don't just want a change of leader, we want a total change of direction. Yeah. We, we want an end to detention, torture, rendition, Abu Ghraib, Belmarsh and Guantanamo. <laughs> we want an end to we want an end to cluster bombs, daisy cutters, white hey, hey. phosphorus, and all the instruments of an illegal occupation. Yeah. We want an end to the death of British and American troops and the thousands upon thousands of civilians in Iraq. Afghanistan and Lebanon. We demand an end to this war without end. Even, it's a message for the students and universities, even as we speak today, they're perfecting the techniques of surveillance. They're encouraging universities and colleges to spy on Islamic and left-wing students. Well, my union will stand with them. In, in this strange Gestapo world, John Reed is advising parents to turn their children over to the special branch. I wouldn't advise having him around to babysit. They're getting so paranoid, they're taping conversations between themselves about the right to take conversations of others and all in the name of democracy. In the case, in the case of Blair, he's deluded himself that he's had conversations with God about the dangers of fundamentalism. No wonder, no wonder, no wonder the Labour Party conference is like an armed fortress. And we're paying, we're paying for this totalitarianism. Instead of scattering our taxes on the killing fields of foreign lands, we want investment in education, health and the ending of poverty. Students want grants, not bombs. Our pensioners want dignity in old age. We all want an end to privatisation. So, where can they start this change, the new leader, the change of direction? Start in Palestine, because without justice for the Palestinians,